Hello. If you are watching the replay, say hi. Share where you're watching from, where you are currently quarantined. I just got off the emotional clearing call and we had integration work to do. We had homework to do. We need to sit for 13 minutes and allow ourselves to feel the good things. Feel what we were feeling when we finished the clears. Things like feeling relaxed and good and terrific and fantastic and excited and calmed. Um, we had to sit and I realized how much we do like self-sabotage our the good. We self-sabotage the good feelings. We stop ourselves short from being able to really like feel good stuff. We carry around the, the you know, quote unquote bad stuff. We carry it around all the time. Carry it with us. Carry the guilt. Carry the shame. Carry the blame. Carry the depression. Carry the sadness. Carry the grief. And the slightest little nudge, we feel it. We experience it. The stress, the anxiety. And uh, our integration work was to sit for 13 minutes and allow ourselves to feel that sensation and the senses that we we're feeling during the call, the the good, the terrific, the relaxed, the calm, the centered, the grounded. And um, there were several times when I felt my thoughts drift off, drift away and not allowing myself to really feel, be in the moment and feel good to like expand that feeling, expand that sensation of uh, feeling good and feeling clear and feeling happy and feeling better. And that's just crazy, you know? That's crazy how we do that to ourselves. And uh, part of that is actually what I had typed. I typed it a while ago when I was going to do a live, but I had a coaching call with my mentor. And uh, I want to talk about how we constantly grasp for things as a way for our ego to stay oriented. Um, and we're grasping. Right now we're doing a lot of grasping. And there's a lot of stuff that we need to not be grasping to, to be honest. Um, but this happens anytime there's um, any type of change or perceived change. Anytime we feel things shifting or moving or expanding and growing, stepping into something unknown or new. Um, our ego likes to have meaning, likes to have understanding, and it, it likes to have that orientation that is clear and founded, meaning like this is how the world works and this is who I am and this is what is expected of me. Our, our ego strives to have that and to experience that. And anytime our orientation gets altered, it starts to freak out and it will try to grasp at anything to help it. So it's sort of like if you're walking on a boat and you are got major waves that come through, like you're going to grab for whatever's closest to help yourself stay grounded, stay stable. Um, the, the imagery that came to mind earlier was like when you've been drinking way too much and you get the spins and it's like, you know, you just, you really want the world to stop moving. And so you do whatever you have to do to really find that, that orientation again, to find that, that centeredness and like to stop the world from spinning. And to do that, we grasp onto things. We hold on to whatever is familiar to whatever is closest. And often what is closest is the stuff that we're asking ourselves to get rid of or move through or to not do again. We reach backward to things that are things that have been previously very familiar, old patterns, old habits, old connections, old ways of being. And we, we let those things come in because we're just trying to find that orientation. Our ego is trying to find that sense of assuredness in who it is and what it's expected of what it's expected of it and what to expect of the world and what is coming. Like that is what our ego looks for. And that's okay. And that's allowed. And in knowing that and in understanding that is what is happening, we can actually reassure ourselves that we don't need to hold on. We don't need to grasp. We don't need to reach back. Um, so for instance, let's say that you have implemented a new standard for your price points. Um, I like choosing business examples because people can usually relate to that. So let's say you decided to raise your pricing from, you know, $1,000 to $2,000. Like, let's say it's not even a major, you know, a quote unquote major change, right? A, a massive change. Let's say it's just a, a, just a change, right? 
and you start to step into being that person, step into doing the inner work around what that means, all the emotional triggers that are coming up, energetics that are misaligned, foundational pieces that are sort of a little wonky, right? So your orientation for your ego is now a little off kilter, like the ego thought, we're the person that charges the thousand dollars for this service, this thing, this product, and now you're telling me we're the person that sells 2,000, and your ego is kind of like, whoa, like what is going on here? Like I, I had this set, I had this clear, I knew where my orientation point was, I knew how to balance all of that, and you're shaking it, and you're changing it, so in order to, to like find its orientation, it gives you the reasons, right? There's, this is tension, oh great. Beautiful day for a motorcycle ride, beautiful day. Um, in order to try and find its orientation again, your subconscious will give a reason to why you have the tension and then enforce the actions that allow you to relieve the tension. So the tension that's being perceived is like, I'm going to, you know, there's, I'm stepping into something new. Like I said, like you're changing your pricing, right? You had an expectation. There were things and like, this is how the world works. This is what was expected. So let's say you charge a thousand dollars and now you're deciding I'm raising my prices to 2000 because it's not aligned and I feel great and I feel better at choosing to expand into this next level, right? So you put in your pieces to this equation of whatever is changing, or whatever you're stepping into. So you've decided to make this change and to try something different, to try something new, to step into a new standard, a new expectation for yourself. In doing that, you sort of, you know, made the foundation a little off kilter. You changed something, right? So your ego will then feel that tension, feel that unease, feel that, feel that dis-ease, feel something new. It's triggering all kinds of stuff in your subconscious and all the inner work that's being asked for you to do to be able to grow and expand and really step into who you are, shifting your identity and all the inner work that like I do on a daily basis, but I do it with my clients. I do it with my mentor, myself personally right being asked of you and your ego is like this feels like tension this feels like disruption this feels like i've lost orientation and in order to relieve it it will give you meanings it will tell you the stories all those that stuff that's bubbling up so for instance like well you're not worthy this is too big you're too much that you're not allowed to do this um this isn't a great idea. You're going to outprice your market. Like this is way too much. People aren't going to afford that. The people you want to serve can't afford that. Like all those stories and beliefs, right, are become the reason for why you have the tension. So your subconscious or your ego is like, here's why that this discomfort is here. Here's why that tension is here. And here's how we fix it. And your subconscious and your ego loves to reach back to what is familiar, to reach back to what you've always done, to reach back to what is currently being perceived as something safe, because that's where your ego says, I had orientation there. That is safe. I had my orientation set. I had this, this balanced there. I felt safe there. That's familiar. Let's go back to that because this currently feels uncomfortable. This feels like I can't see straight. The world is spinning. Things are off balance. So you reach back and you drop your prices again and you go back to the old habits or you take on clients that aren't super ideal, but they were still great because they worked at that time. Or you take back an old relationship and start or date somebody that is similar to your ex or that caused problems to begin with. Um, or you step into like, I'm going to have a monthly cleaning service in my home. And then you realize like, oh, this like that feels a little wonky. That feels a little different. And you reach back to, oh, we can we can postpone it. We can not do it and then it just like takes over and you start to really catapult backwards, right? Start to slip down that hill. So if you understand that this is what's happening, that your ego feels like its orientation has been lost and it is feeling that unease of things are a little wonky, if you understand that and you know that, you can actually come into the experience with a level of understanding with grace with compassion and continue to do your work knowing and reminding of yourself that like it's okay it's safe you're allowed you are worthy and all the work that I do with clients about diving deeper and like cleaning out those things that are causing the tension that are actually causing the tension because stepping into what you want and calling what you want and and manifesting what you want getting what you desire like creating what you want stepping into something new experiencing more abundance more happiness more wealth more love like that is not the problem but your ego says, this is what changed, so that's the problem. Instead, you can go into this and know that like, 
that's not actually the problem. What's actually causing my ego to have this sense of disorientation or imbalance is all the stories under the surface, all the beliefs that have said, I can't, I'm not allowed, I'm not worthy, it's, I'm not good enough, or you know, whatever, I don't belong, I don't belong is a big one, whatever those may be. And when you can correct those one at a time while being able to have the acceptance and the compassion and understanding towards your ego, Hi Mary, hi Sue. Um, you can like really allow yourself to continue to progress, to continue to grow and find that new level of normal, that new normal, that new orientation. So when people are talking about, well, I've created a new normal for myself, or this is now a new standard, or I really expanded into becoming this person or being this person that charges this much, has this, does this, is this, has this relationship, whatever it may be, like this is the process of what's happening. It's, it's allowing your ego to change its orientation. And when you can understand that process and this is what's happening, like we're able to move through it which actually so much better, so much smoother. It doesn't have to be so painful and so hard and so difficult and feel like, it doesn't have to feel like you're walking around on a ship that's being tossed around at sea. It doesn't have to have, be that experience for you. It can be different. It can be something that is smoother, that does go faster and is a better experience. In doing that, like then you really get to do it again and again and again. And like that's essentially what the call up program is about and what that container is, which is it's like for two months, that's essentially what we're doing is finding a new, your new orientation and clearing out those beliefs and the stories that are under the surface causing you like actually causing the tension for your ego. Your ego currently says like the things that you're saying you want is the problem. The things that you want are not the problem. What is the problem is the stories and conditioning that are currently oriented as normal for you. That's what, what is under the surface and that's what we're gonna clear out and be moving forward in. So it's about really allowing you to like step into who you wanna be and, and step into having what you want and being able to clear that stuff out and find your orientation and this is the type of container where like i can i'm gonna be there i will support you we're gonna be doing some great work and i can give you all the tools but it's ultimately up to you to choose to to show up for it to choose to get out of it like every single container i do i shared this on the emotional clearing call today too that like you're gonna get what you are what you need like every single person that does anything with me whether it's a live video a facebook group a free clearing call or any of my paid programs or retreats, like you will get what you need every single time. And I know that's true because every single time I do it, that's the intention that I set. And that's what I get out of everything that I do is I get what I need in the moment and I get to be shown what I need in the moment. And that's how it works. And I have that belief and I have that expectation. So that's the experience that we have you are the one that gets to show yourself what you're capable of. This isn't about like the call up is your answer or Kelly is your answer or I'm gonna do it for you or the call up is gonna do it for you or that group is gonna do it for you. It's really showing you and teaching you that yes, I'm there to support you and to guide you and to, to facilitate the process and the shifts and the change, but it's actually about you and yourself. I was, I was talking to Andrew the yesterday, I don't know, one of these quarantine days, and I was saying how it's like, He's like, tell me about the people that you that are in this program. And I was like, you know, I, it's for the people that, and what I really love and what I really love to work with are the people that already know that they want more for themselves. Like this isn't about what I want for you. This isn't about what you think you should have. It's the people that just know, I want more for myself. I want more because I do. I want more whatever that may be. And like, that's who my containers serve. That's like finding better, finding easier, finding more depth, finding more expansion, finding, finding what's yours is always what my containers have been, been about. And in the past, and when I was first starting, it was, it was a lot of digital courses and recorded videos. And, and then it expanded to more private coaching and having structures to the programs of teaching something every week. Um, and now, now it's really expanded to be so much more so much more expansive, so much more like that every person that shows up is going to get what they need for that season, for that moment, for that issue, for that day, for that experience. That's what happens in my containers. And that's what's so cool because we start to understand the process of what's happening under the surface with your ego, with your subconscious, with the limiting beliefs, with your energy and with your emotions and everything that we have playing together to create you and your recipe for life, your experience for life. So 
If you're interested in the call up, make sure you give me a shout, send me a message. Um, registration closes, closes for it this weekend. We have our second call actually tomorrow. The first call was freaking phenomenal and fantastic. Uh, we worked on some person clears and some of the more intermediate clearing. Like I've been saying, the emotional clearing calls I've been doing are very beginner level. They're very gentle on our system and they're things that, that I do every day for myself. Um, and in the program, in the call up, we're gonna be doing the intermediate and advanced clearing to really dive deeper and create even more of a facilitated process to allow you to, to step into that. So um, Tuesday or Monday's call was very cool and very oriented on like person clears and uh, manifestation clears, which is amazing. And some of the other ones that we're gonna be diving into are um, some wealth clears, manifestation clears, quadrant clears, root clears, um, I don't foresee any of like the quantum clearing stuff, but it will be um, some pretty in-depth amazing stuff to be able to really move you forward. Lots of person clears, body clears, um, stuff like that. So statement clears, all of it so that it supports you. Like I was saying, it supports you being able to do the work that you need at the moment. So send me a message if you are interested in that and I can get you the details. We already have started, but registration closes this weekend. Our next call is tomorrow. So if you want in on the bonus call, please do let me know and get on that today. And I think that's it. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Embrace who you are, embrace what your truth is. Be, be like super fierce about what you desire to experience in your life and through all of this and through what's coming for you um, and know that it is meant for you. And I will talk to you soon. See ya.